Hey people, how's it going? We're gonna see if we can do this alone. There's my trust map. Did I open this door? I don't remember opening this door. Wait, that's where I came out of. Where's the... Oh, there it is. This door is barred from the other side. Um, I need to be in there. Hello? Hello? How do I get in there? Yeah, hey, get him. Color spray don't work on me. Now, is that your spider? Please tell me that's your spider. That's not your spider. Which means there's another one around here. If I could hit, this would be awesome. If I could stop attacking the summon, it would be even better. Come on, bitch, kill him! Stop playing with the fucking summon. I don't know why it's so goddamn hard. She's right fucking there. You know where he is. He ain't moved. He's back up against the wall. Fucking kill him. This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, dumbass. Greetings. Uh, how did how did I do this one? But I missed all that shit. How did they not attack me? Magic, I guess. I don't know. Smoky Brazier. Of course. Your blood shall spill. Today? This game is fucked up. Hmm. Brazier looks as if it's being prepared to have some sort of magic cast upon it. Okay. So how do I get over there? How do I get in that room?
Or is this something we can't get into until future? I will we'll not kick it down, man. Equip that, will that do it? Okay. Hmm. How do we get in there? Oh, this is not good. I didn't think about that when I did this. My decisions have been full of regret. Yeah, you stay over there. Keep staying over there. All right, I'm ready for you. Let's get him. Can we knock his ass down? Damn. I think my stunning fist is gonna save me. Don't heal. Don't heal. Oh wait, I'm potted up. That's why it's easy. Oh well. You gonna drop something by? You drop nothing, you fucking loser. You know what I should do? I should save, but... Hello? Oh, nothing there. Potion of aid. Okay, we got that back. Benzo's luck. Not for me. Okay, so I guess that's it. I don't know how to get in that one room. Maybe it's a future thing. Maybe we can just break into it now. I'm not even making a dent. That's dumb. Wonder where that goes. Um, all right, so we need to go back here and use the sundial, I believe. We get all the golems, we got that one, we got the other one. I think so. Save the past for a better future. Yeah, I gotta keep all my buffs. Nice. Do 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 do. Just passing through. Just 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 passing through. Oh, the door's open now. Hey girl. That's so shiny. I did that. Greetings. 
Once more, I must thank you for planting the Ultarg seed trees for me. Or is this the first time I'm thanking you? <laughs> no matter. I am grateful in any case. Okay, my reward? I haven't given it to you? Well, I suppose I haven't. Or you wouldn't be asking, would you? What to give? What to give? Oh, I know! I think these gems will make a suitable reward. They say they can add sparkle to your personality. Okay, thanks. Farewell until we meet again for the first time. <laughs> this is you. Whatever. Gems. Must be something we al we already have. I've leveled up. Oh my god! Alright. El Monko. Discipline, which has saved our lives. Believe it or not. Come on. Ooh! Extra stunning attacks. Hmm, improve critical. Okay, we've already got it. What to pick? I think we got everything that we actually need. Skill focus? Extra stunning attacks? Can always use stunning attacks. No, oh, fuck it. Nine? No. I want ten. Hit points are critical at this juncture. Why do they always have to be so spread out? I should have taken the nine. Yep, okay, thank you. Ha ha ha. Alright. Now, we shall rest. I think we'll go back and pick up Grimna and bring him here. Alright, save, we want creator ruins, and boom! My buddy love, yes, yes, ooh, Is will you talk to me now? Yes, continue to what you were telling me before? Yes! This means we can do everything! Yeah! Then we need to discuss the matter of the Sentinel Lord before I discuss this matter for you. Guidance from the Sentinel Lord. I realize now that what a fool I was. You're a tool of the Sentinel Lord. You enact his will upon the world, spreading death wherever you go. Okay. You're here to aid me in this challenge, Joke. <sighs> the very fact that you're here is proof the Sentinel Lord wants me to ask you for help in the task. What task? 
I must assassinate one of the Inner Circle's members. Only by delivering one of their number to the Sentinel's heads am I worthy of joining them. Okay. There's a catch. It's forbidden for one of my order to slay one of the Inner Circle unless we use a weapon blessed by the Inner Circle. Why would they do that? We don't fear death. The custom exists to ensure that when one of the inner circle is slain by a monk who has provided worthy of the honor, one of our order joins the inner circle, they must bless a weapon that may be used to deliver them to the sight lord. Then they take the weapon and secret it away to place of great danger. Finding one of the blessed weapons requires luck, skill, and fate. In fact, we believe only the guiding hand of the sight lord will deliver the blessed weapon to you. So you want me to help you? At first, I feared enlisting your aid would be sacrilegious. However, now I realize you're a tool of the Silent Lord. Okay, how do I recognize it? You're all emblazoned with the symbol of our order, the outstretched hand of the Silent Lord at reaching to claim us all. Don't fear. As long as you seek the words of power, I shall serve you. And in serving you, I shall serve the will of the Silent Lord. Is this your dagger? Yes! I feel a faint aura emanating from the blade. This is the one of the weapons blessed. Once more, you've proven yourself an agent of my master. I bestow upon you this talisman, a gift normally reserved for those only of my order. Thanks. What are you going to do now? Dagger's only the beginning for me, Joe. Now I have the ability and the right to deliver one of the inner circle to the Silent Lord. <sighs> Yet the inner circle are among the most powerful of my order. If I'm to defeat one of them, I must become a master of all I've learned. Once I feel I'm worthy, I will challenge one to, to the battle to the death. But of course, all this must wait. Well, your task isn't done. You seek the words of power, and in doing so, you bring death and destruction to your foes. It's been an honor to serve you, and I will not abandon you until your task is done. Sweet! Come on. We shall now take time. to get everybody else. <gasps> Come here. <laughs> Is there something you need? Um, can you level up? Nice. Is there something you need? Do we need to part ways? Um, just hang on, I need to do stuff. I've been waiting for you. Yep. Yes. Is there some talk? Continue your story. I want to hear it. Okay. In ancient times, all the Uthgar tribes were one, a mighty nation under the great hero king Uthgar. Our people were indomitable in battle. None dared stand against Uthgar when he wielded his great spear. He said no weapon could harm him when he brandished a spear over his head. Uh huh. But against our greatness, the armies of our enemies massed. Goblins, orcs, ogres, other creatures too foul to name. The dark host marched forth upon the mountains to battle Uthgar and his people. Oh, sorry for the onies. According to the tale, there was a young boy who desired nothing more than to be a great hero of the Uthgar. When news of the invasion came, he swore he would join the ranks of men as a warrior. He was a mere child, not even a youth, and the warriors told him to stay with the women and infants. But the boy was brave and stubborn, and he would not accept this. So what did he do? The night before the battle, the boy crept into Uthgard's tent and stole the magic spear. The boy marched out into the darkness to face the horde alone. But he was but a child. He didn't know where he was going, and soon he became lost in the woods. In the morning, Uthgard woke to find his spear gone. He was forced to march against the enemy without it. The battle raged fierce and bloody, and many warriors fell before the enemy broke and fled. But even if victory came with a terrible cross for Uthgard, it was felled with an arrow through the eye. So what happened to the boy? For many days, the boy found his way back to camp. Those who saw him with the spear quickly understood what had happened, and they blamed him for Uthgard's death. Oh. They cast him out forever, banishing him from the tribe. The boy fled, taking the spear with him. He only wanted to prove himself a warrior. He only wanted to help defend the tribes. His motives were honorable. His actions had tragic consequences. Uthgar could not forgive him, just as Neverwinter could not forgive Fenthic. But the tale does not end there. The boy vanished. He was never seen again, and neither was Uthgar's spear, the symbol and source of the Uthgar's nations and power. Without the spear, my people were vulnerable. Our enemies fell upon us. The great nations of the Uthgar were splintered into small tribes. Never again would we know the glory of our past. Had Uthgar forgiven the boy, he and the spear would have remained and the empire would have stayed strong. Had never would have forgiven Fenthic, Arabeth might have betrayed the city. Well, yeah, that's true. There's less in the fall of the Uthgar, less than Neverwinter would do well to heed. There is hope for the city yet, just as there is hope for the Uthgar. Perhaps later I will speak of you the tale. No. Yes. Talk. Yes. 
As you know, I'm a vision quest to prove myself a true Uthgar warrior. Last night I had a vision to guide me in my quest. I've seen the spear in my dreams. According to the legend of my people, the Uthgar tribes will never be united without Uthgar's spear. That's how I must prove myself worthy of the tribe. I must find the spear. Don't fear, as long as you seek the words of power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this your magic spear? Yes! Because of you, I can return my people with proof of my spirit. Please take the small token of gratitude. It was a gift from my mother before she died. Thanks. The talisman has powerful magical properties, though I know it's hardly su- No, 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 it's suitable. I imagine my chief will summon an inter-tribal council so that all Uthgart tribes will know the artifact has been found. According to the legend, the return of Uthgar's spear heralds the return of Uthgar himself to be born among our tribes. They say it signals the return of the glory of the ancient past. Okay, so what are you going to do? I can't say for certain. Perhaps I'll be held to the hero and shout with riches and honors to the chieftains of my people. Perhaps I'll simply be welcomed back into the tribe. The elders could allow me to take a wife and raise a son as my own. Either would be pleasing to me. I've proven myself worthy of the first time I feel at peace with my place in the world. I'm going to miss you. I long to return to my people and reclaim my place, but I won't abandon you or m break my promise to serve. As long as you have need of me, I will stay by your side. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, can Is you level up? Not that I'm going to take him with me, but... Yes. Okay, Is there something can you stay here for a bit? Yes. Mr. Glinkle. Hello, it is I, Body Not Glinkle. It is good to see a friendly face in these unfamiliar surroundings. Yep, good to see you. I'm not surprised to see you at Brune as well. Given your previous record of service, it was only logical to conclude that you would be among the recruited by Neverwinter Spymaster. Yeah, Aaron totally recruited me. I found our previous experiences together to be very enlightening. Dude, I was drunk. Know anything about the words of power? All I know, this area is limited to the accounts of the Lantanese you show. Lantanese explorers. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to skip through this, get to his story. Sorry if you want to read it. We have no giants on Lantan, so my people are fascinated by them. The subjects he was studying hill giants were exact, exact species, if I remember correctly, actually chosen a king from among their numbers. And this king had united several bands of giants into a single powerful tribe. He had even constructed a great steeding to house the king. And from there they raided the lands to the south. Until Harago's research, we assumed hill giants being capable of such high-level organization. Most of Harago's research was scientific in nature. Diet, mating habits, activity cycles, habitat, and territory range. Academically compelling, but hardly useful in your mission. I would love to see these giants before I leave the north. Join up. All right. Is there something you need? Talk. Uh. Our best betrayal. Sometimes people let their emotions rule their actions. In the we bow to the laws of reason and logic. Emotion can never be truly factored out of a decision. But we do our best to look at the facts with a dispassionate eye. This doesn't make sense that we're quite different from many of the other cultures in Faerun. We will have to familiarize ourselves with these strange lands if we hope to integrate Lantan into mainland. What? Well, Lantan's an island by geography. We're isolated. Over centuries, this has led to an insular culture, particularly among people, the gnomes. We consider ourselves safely removed from the troubles of the mainland. We have been fascinated observers of the history of Faerun, but we chose not to be active participants. Recently, however, our culture has embarked upon a radical journey of change, a revolutionary shift in our entire belief system. Soon, perhaps, even in my own lifetime, land tend to become an important part of life in the realms. What? We're thinkers, inventors, and academics, not soldiers. We plan to bring our culture and beliefs to Faerun through magical, through peaceful means. Not magical, totally, at slip of the tongue. Blah, 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 blah. Though we're proceeding in a rational, logical fashion. Before we attempt to introduce ourselves into the existing order, we must study and analyze the current political and cultural realities in an organized and thorough fashion. Do you expect anything less? Why the change? As you can imagine, a revolution of this magnitude must be precipitated by an astonishing event. Without a significant catalyst, there cannot be a significant reaction. In our case, the catalyst is a singular wondrous event, the day the god Gon Wonderbringer washed up on the shores of Lantan in mortal form. You mean the time of troubles? Yes, when the gods were forced to mor take mortal form and walk among us. I would share the tale with you. Yes. Is there something you need? Talk. 
talk. You seem quite interested in the subject. I suppose we could spare a few minutes from our quest. Yes. <sighs> We're so close. During this year's owl, the over... Oh, go f you're going to tell me all about the time of troubles. Gon chose to take the form of a gnome. A logical choice given the obvious advantages of my race. It was in this form that he washed up on the shores of Lantan. As you can imagine, people were skeptical of, uh, skeptical of Gon's claim, but the Wonderbringer's clerics confirmed the identity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Joaquin's frozen somewhere. You gotta go dig her out. He dwelt peacefully among the my people on the island, sharing his wisdom and knowledge with us. Perhaps the most well-known gift he shared with us was the secret of making smoke powder. Well, it's quite useful if somewhat dangerous. Though it resembles nothing more than coarse black sand, when lit, smoke power will explode with a blast of force. Oh, gunpowder. It's a remarkable tool with many uses, but it can be quite destructive in the wrong hands. That's why even among the Lantanese, the secrets of smoke powder are known only to precious few. Even though smoke powder is God's most well-known gift to my people, it's not the most important piece of knowledge he shared with us. Well, what else? We're a society of observers and thinkers. We have a tradition of isolating ourselves from the politics, but Gan changed that. He warned us of a time was coming when we must become involved with affairs of the mainland. A time was coming which we could not afford to be remain dispassionate and neutral. He would not say what the time was or what the circumstances would be of this mon momentous event. When God tells you to go forth into the rest of the world, you should be wise to listen. Given the analytical nature of our society, you cannot expect we would suddenly integrate ourselves with the rest of Faerun without careful study and research. Suddenly the discoveries and accounts of those who had left our island on journeys of exploration became infinitely more important as a tool to teach us of the society and culture we knew we would soon be interacting with. Now by law, those who leave Lantan must first visit the clerics of God and the Wonderbeer to obtain divine guidance before going on their journey. Okay, what did you get? Uh, I got the usual go with gun, that kind of thing, blah blah blah, pretty much what you expect. Uh huh. You're not a very good liar. The guidance I received from Gon's clerics is personal and private thing. It has nothing to do with our work for Aaron. Is there something you need? No talkie later, talkie now. I'm about to reveal a secret known only to the people of Lantan and those within the Church of Gon the Wonderbringer. As you know, I left Lantan on a journey of discovery. What you might not know is that I was my journey was also a holy pilgrim in service in service of Gond. I have been charged with the task. Now for one of my people embarks upon a sojourn to the mainland, the clerics of Gond pray to the Wonderbringer for a vision of what new and previously unseen wonder the travelers to seek out on his journey. In my case, the priest saw a terrible creature of enormous size and power, a monster unknown to my homeland. Only after consulting the text in the Great Library did the priest understand the vision was of a dragon. Well, that ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> we can't bring back an entire dragon, and the clerics would have been foolish to burden me with such a ridiculous task. They charged me with the return of a dragon scale. Through experimentation, study, and magical divination, we can learn much about these creatures. However, the scale must not be tainted by spells or other unnatural forces such as magical weapons, or the experiments will be corrupted. Okay, so we could just find it? Unless the odds of defeating a dragon without spells or magical weapons are so minute as to be negligible. However, there may be another way. Dragons occasionally come in conflict with other creatures, giants and other dragons primarily. In battles, these foes, surely a dragon must be wounded. Logically, we must expect to find a dragon scale that had been torn free or dislodged in one of these struggles. This is far more likely than killing a dragon ourselves without magical aid. Uh huh. So we're gonna get dragon scales. Da -da. Okay, here's a dragon scale. It's exactly what I was looking for. The priest of God will be amazed when I return with this wondrous material. Yet again, you've proven yourself. Take this ring. It was given to me by the clerics. Thanks. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna miss you. Is there something you need? Okay, level up. Ooh, and he moved too. Need? We need to part ways. Let's go. Hey. I have been waiting for you. All right, I got the three that I wanted. Amulet of the Silent Lord. I wish I could wear this one too, but I can't. <gasps> the one I've wanted, Amulet of the Uthgart. Strength plus four. Prophyro's ring plus four. Charisma plus four. Get on me.
All right. That's it. Okay. Oh God, how did I? I don't want to know. So I'm gonna save. Um, and I guess we're gonna go back and take care of uh, the golems. So I will see you tomorrow. If you could leave a like, that would be great. And adios.